pathetic parasympathetic when the stress uh, adrenaline rush what you already mentioned fight or flight response there is a redistribution of uh, blood hemodynamic changes will happen so from the center part there will be less blood and it will push more blood to the periphery head also come as a periphery 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 so hands and feet and head redistribution of body fluid and the uh, blood so why it will do it wants you to either fight with the situation or have a frightening situation or flight for you to run away you need to have strong muscles and good blood circulation and good blood blood glucose so there will be glycogen converted from glucose uh, from the liver to the uh, inside the blood so you will feel more uh, you know, strength and all this but this utilization sometimes causes some vulnerable places it will cause attack kind of so if muscles of the head and neck are causing a spasm because they are thin sheet of muscles unlike other group of muscles these are thin sheet of muscles it can cause muscle spasm muscle spasm at the level of head is a headache muscle spasm at the level of neck is neck pain muscle spasm at the back is back pain plus stress response induced vasodilatation blood vessels are getting dilated is also cause of headache so with the with this context of uh, baseline information what we have designed is we have designed something to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system or the relaxation response change the chemical structure of the body so for example there is one theory which says that when you do this kind of relaxation technique there is a release of endothelial nitric oxide inside the blood vessel there is a release of nitric oxide that will have opposite effect as that of stress that is called as the relaxation response you are going to study about this